Hi, and welcome back to Arno TV. I'm your lovable host, Arno, coming back to you with another video. Now, anybody who's uh, sort of watched my videos before will know that I've said in previous videos that I like to uh, retain a certain level of normalcy in my life under these lockdowns. And, you know, I used to really enjoy on Friday nights uh, meeting my mates in the pub, uh, having a few pints, putting the world to rights. And that was my Friday night. I used to really enjoy it. And obviously, since the uh, lockdowns have started in March, not been able to do anything like that. So, you know, what I tend to do now is I get myself some nice food in at home, get a few beers in at home, put some music on, get the lava lamps on, chill out, forget about the world and, you know, just have a day to myself and just forget about all this crazy world that we're living. And that's what I was doing yesterday. So I didn't make a video yesterday. Hence, that, that was the reason. OK, now, um, the people that have watched my videos before as well will know that in recent videos, I've said that I often really you know worry about what i'm going to wake up to each day because you know i read things that i can't quite believe and you know no matter how bad something i've read one day you know something shocks me even further the next day uh, and again <clears throat> today that's happened but this time it's not only shocked me it's not only made me think i can't believe i'm watching and reading this it's actually frightened me okay and if this doesn't frighten you, something seriously wrong with you. And if you are okay with what I'm about to talk about and show you, then there's really no hope for you if you're okay with this, okay? Now, what I'm talking about, and there's multiple sources online about this story, okay? There's multiple sources about it, okay? Which I'll show you, okay? And surprise, surprise, there's not a peep not even a murmur about this in any mainstream media publication in the UK, okay? They are silent on this, okay? And this is unbelievable, okay? And what I'm talking about is in Wednesday of this week, in Germany, so just over the water, we've talked about France and Denmark, now we're talking about Germany, okay? They arrested a guy, a doctor, Dr. Andreas Noack, at his home address at gunpoint whilst live streaming on his own YouTube channel. And from what I can gather, all this guy's done is spoken out against the government, what they've been doing in Germany with these lockdowns and their approach to the virus from a medical standpoint, from a medical point of view, he's been speaking out against what they've been doing, okay? And they've passed a draconian law called the Infection Protection Law in Germany that's been brought in under the guise of these lockdowns. And this is what he's been arrested under, okay? At gunpoint for having his own opinion, okay? At gunpoint. Now, I want you to think about that. Are you all for doctors who speak out against the government or anybody that might want to have a difference of opinion of what the government narrative is to be arrested at gunpoint? Does that sound like a democracy to you? No, it doesn't, does it? It doesn't sound like a democracy. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the internet and I'm going to show you the video as well that went out live on YouTube at the time on Wednesday and you can make up your own mind, okay? Because if this does not shock you, then there's something wrong with you. And if you don't understand now why I'm telling people to question things, to question what's going on, then... You know, there's no hope for you, okay? So let's just uh, go over to the internet, okay? So let me just get this sorted out for you. So first of all, I'm going to show you the guys called Andreas Nowak, okay? So if you Google search Andreas Nowak, his surname spelled N-O-A-C-K, okay? And then you'll see all the sources that are coming up about this arrest at gunpoint in Germany, okay? On Wednesday of this week. And not one of them, not one of them! is the mainstream media. Now, isn't that a surprise, okay? This is a disgrace, an absolute disgrace that in 2020, this is type of thing is going on. That if you're a German doctor and you speak out against Angela Merkel, they're gonna send the armed police to your, to your house. I mean, this is just unbelievable. This, and th this kind of narrative, this is what these people are trying to do. They're trying to silence the population to silence itself. They're trying to, should I say, they're trying to make the population silence itself through fear. That if you speak out against anything the government are doing, this kind of thing's going to happen to you. Now, does that sound like a democracy? Okay, now I'm going to, I'm going to shut up 
and I'm going to show you this video, it, which is absolutely shocking. Shocking, okay? So I'm going to turn down the music, and I'm going to shut up, and I'm going to let you what happens, uh, let you watch, should I say, what happens in 2020 in Germany if you're a doctor and you speak out against what the government's doing, the reproach to the virus from a medical standpoint. This is what happens. Look at him. He looks terrified. This is what happens. Ja, ich weiß nicht, was los ist. Das ist doch, das ist doch gerade ein Schiff. Ich weiß nicht. Äh Guck mal, wir haben vorhin über Angst gesprochen. Moment, hier ist gerade die Polizei, bricht gerade die Tür auf. Polizei! Ich will die Hände sehen! Auf dem Boden, auf dem Boden! Runter, beide! Runter auf dem Boden! Geh runter! Zwei Personen hier! Am Boden liegen bleiben. Wie sind Ihre Namen? Wie heißen Sie? Wie heißen Sie? Ich bin Andreas Noack. Sonst irgendwelche Messer, Waffen, irgendwas einstecken? Nein. Computer aus. understand why I'm telling you to question what's going on? Do you understand why I'm concerned when this kind of thing is going on, when this kind of thing is going on? And this is what people like Angela Merkel are pushing, okay? Angela Merkel is pushing this, okay? This has been done under the infection protection law, and this is what happens if you're a German doctor and you speak out against Angela Merkel. What, she got fond memories of the Stasi when she was a little girl in East Germany? I mean, this is unbelievable. Unbelievable that in a democracy in Europe that's just over the water, the, the, mo the most economically powerful country in Europe, and this is what's going on. And people wonder why I'm concerned when this type of thing's going on. Let's go and have a read of an article that I was reading about this, okay? So, German police barge into the house of anti-lockdown activist Dr. Andreas Nowak and arrest him during his YouTube live stream. Interesting, isn't it, that they're calling him an activist? An activist, okay? What? He spoke out against the government. That makes him an activist, does it? He spoke out from a medical standpoint against what Angela Merkel's doing under this draconian uh, infection protection law, and this, this is what happens, is it? Okay? Uh, a, a, a doctor in Germany, Dr. Andreas Nowak, was arrested, uh, arrested, should I say, by the police on Wednesday in what appears to be a gross violation of personal liberty. Really? You, you, I mean, no shit, Sherlock. Um, the reason uh, for his arrest is not yet clear. But he was arrested whilst live streaming on YouTube from his own home. The police barged into his home uh, where, where he was live on his YouTube channel. Uh, the manner of his arrest presents some extremely disturbing scenes. Really? I'm, I'm actually, I think the word is frightening scenes you're looking for. Not, not just disturbing, frightening. Um, he appeared too shocked to respond while the police continued to yell at him until he lied down on the ground. Um, in the, arre the arrest of Dr. Andreas Nowak occurred after the passage of the infection protection law, which was protested heavily by vast sections of the German population. And we saw none of this in the mainstream media in the UK. So the German population have been protesting against this law. They've passed it anyway. And this has been done under that law. So if you're for people like Merkel and the kind of things that they're propagating and the agenda that they've got, this is what they're about, okay? This is what they're about, okay? Now, uh, the, the arrested doctor was supposedly providing medical assistance to anti-lockdown protesters. So are you telling me that this, 
the, a German doctor who's taken the Hippocratic Oath, like all doctors, to help people that maybe helped some injured protesters and, and this is his crime. And this is his crime. And you send the armed police to arrest him in this man at his house for speaking out against Angela Merkel. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Um, according to reports, uh, the reasons for the police raid and arrest have not been officially revealed. However, there are rumours, in brackets, unconfirmed reports, that Dr. Andreas Noah provided medical assistance to hundreds of uh, protesters during the lockdown protests against uh, the German government. So, this guy's ch crime is basically helping protesters. Dr. Andreas Nowak uh, was under investigation for being non-compliant uh, with the COVID-19 lockdown laws enacted by the German government. The infection protection law has drawn a lot of flack and has been compared by some to the Nazi era enabling act laws that were passed in 1933. I mean, I can't believe I'm reading this. I can't believe in 2020 I'm reading an article about this in Germany. I mean, are people not concerned about this? This is unbelievable, unbelievable that they've arrested this guy in that fashion, in this way. And as always, I'm going to leave the link in the description so you can look, you can look at the articles that I've found on this. Because this is unbelievable that a German doctor should be arrested in this fashion under this, this draconian infection protection law that's been pushed through by Merkel. This is unbelievable. And if you're not concerned by this, there's something seriously, seriously wrong with you. If you're comfortable with the idea of anybody that speaks out against the government, that the government should have the right to send armed police to their house and have them arrested and kick the door in and terrify them. I mean, this is, is this, is this the law? All I'm gonna say is, is this the law of a democracy? Is this the law of a democracy? Is this the way that democratic countries behave? That anybody who speaks out against the government is arrested at gunpoint? This is just unbelievable. Absolutely shocking, frightening, disgusting. And I urge everybody to, sp to, you know, to speak out against this. I mean, what, what do you guys think about this? Are you comfortable with a law like this? Leave some, leave some, leave some, uh, you know, leave some comments and tell me if you're comfortable with this and you feel that this guy deserves to be arrested in this fashion from what I can see his crime is, is speaking out against the government from a medical standpoint. Unbelievable, unbelievable. If you've enjoyed this video and you wanna see more, then please like and subscribe to the channel. And once you do, please ring the notification bell so you'll get notified of forthcoming videos that I put out. Um, I want to thank all the reason people that have subscribed to the channel because I've noticed more subscribers coming in and thank you so much for the support. It means a lot to me as I'm trying to grow this channel. I'm going to be back soon, very soon, with more videos for you. You can bet your bottom dollar on that. But until I do, I want all of you guys out there, and I mean this, to take care of yourselves, your friends, your family, your loved ones. Don't cause any kind of problems for anybody because nobody needs that at this time. When we've got things like this going on, the problems are already there. Nobody needs to add to them, okay? Uh, but until I come back, please take care, stay rock and roll, and I'll be back soon, guys.